The former Aztec football star who fell asleep at the wheel and then killed a highway worker is on his way to prison tonight. The tenders of Porto Steve Fiorina is live with the forgiveness that was requested and received today. Steve. Steve, the accident was in the ice plant just off the I-15 uh, on ramp here in Escondido. Uh, a young father was killed instantly and now eight months later, the driver of that SUV was both forgiven and sent to prison. And I knew there wasn't anyone else. Marissa Miranda spoke to the court about her fairy tale life and how it was shattered by the crash last September that killed her fiance, Caltrans contract employee Leon Sandoval. My life was so complete and I couldn't wait to marry him. I couldn't wait to see his hair turn gray and kiss him goodnight for the rest of my life. The father of a son who just celebrated his first birthday, Leon was fixing sprinklers on the landscaping along I-15 in Escondido. He was run over by a Mitsubishi Montero that careened off the freeway when the driver, Reginald Grigsby Jr., fell asleep while driving. Before his sentencing for involuntary manslaughter, Grigsby apologized. This was a terrible judgment call on my part. I went up to my mistake and I pray that one day you may forgive me. One family member did. God knows if you're truly sorry. And I forgive you for sure. And I know God does. But another was not as forgiving. He railed at a suggestion by the defense attorney that the family might come away with $200,000 from the insurance companies holding policies for Grigsby's SUV. $200,000? does not bring back our son's million dollar smile. Judge Michael Popkin sentenced Grigsby to the maximum penalty, six years in prison, citing a 2009 conviction for a violent attack on the defendant's mother. Fifteen years ago, Grigsby was a standout football player at El Camino High School and a little after that at San Diego State. Now suffering from mental illness, he is headed for prison. Live in Escondido, Steve Fierman.